Hey guys, welcome to the ace match for the MSI Pro Cup number 10 finals between Puzzle and Violent. That is right, the score is tied up 2-2, two to two, and it's a BO5 that makes it the ace match on Taldrim Malter, which is another little funky map, not as odd as Dual Sight, but on Taldrim Malter, a lot of Zergs end up vetoing it in tournaments because they can't do their normal build, and that is going on a very fast third base before building a lot of units because there is a destructible rock block in this. If they put an overload on this high ground, they can take this as a third base. The main threat is, well, a pylon on the high ground and cannon and a cannon or maybe just warping in units. This base can be a little bit hard to defend if the pylon does make it up here. If it doesn't, then this base not that bad in these spawn positions, so maybe Violet will be ending up to take that, or maybe he'll take out these rocks, and the other option is to go for a two-base lair-type attack. Puzzle, he's probably going to like this map. I think Protoss generally do like Taldrim Malta. They don't like him in the sense that they can't really predict what Zerg is doing because Zerg's a very predictive race. A lot of players play Zerg tend generally the same. They kind of follow huge waves of transition. All the Zergs right now doing kind of the Stefano style with a lot of roaches. And maybe in a little bit, once Protoss is... Uh, one gate robo does become very popular. We'll be seeing a lot of Zerg switch into... Um, the Nesty Ling and Fester opener. We'll see exactly how the game does go. Tower de Malta is a map where a lot of Protoss will go for a Nexus first because there's not a lot of pressure that Zergs can put on. If the Overlord doesn't scout them in the first base, it's going to be a long time until Zerg actually knows what base the Protoss is at. Violet is going to be opening up with a 15 pool because if you open up for a hatch first and then Protoss gets lucky and spots it, well, they put a pylon down here, build a cannon, it goes unscouted, and again, it's just a bad situation. So going with the 15 pool, very good. And again, Violet going to do the 16 hatch follow-up, and that's a little bit uncommon. I think, I think a lot of Zergs really like the 15 pool, 15 hatch, and Violet just goes for 16 hatch. Maybe that's common, and I just haven't noticed a lot of players switching over to the 16 hatch, or maybe it's unique to Violet. Either or, it's not going to be that big of a deal. We do have the Forge, and this is another map where you are going to get the gateway right after the forge, or even while the forge is building. You don't get the cannon because, again, Zerg can't really put pressure on you in the early stages on Taldrim Malta, or at least it is a very odd to see Zergs put on a lot of pressure early on. The probe is going to be on his way over. Will he end up trying to cannon rush? He still has the opportunity. We do see Lings, though, on the way out, so that is not probably going to happen. Actually, six Lings coming out, and he may try to go for a little bit of a run by going to be ignoring that probe. And looks like, no, he isn't. Those six Lings going to be going down to the rocks, just looking for any type of pylon down there. And going to start taking them out with two Lings as soon as possible. These four Lings, actually one breaks off, chases the probe, and Violet is going to be sending these three Lings, I assume, to start taking out these destructible rocks, and that's a little bit odd that he's not checking all around his base. He really does want to go for that very fast third base on this map, and we'll see what Puzzle ends up doing to combat this, because Violet did sacrifice a few drones to get these six lings out to take out these rocks, and that's actually more than six lings. He has built four Lover with the lings, which is eight. Cannon is up. Again, the gateway went before the cannon most likely. The side next is being built before the uh, 440 mark, so yeah, that is definitely going to be a gateway before the cannon. And looking at the gas, we'll see exactly how much he ends up having when that Cyber Next Squad does finish, when he takes this third and fourth gas. Overload right now, just going in a relatively safe spot. The probe going to be putting a pylon back here as he does transfer his way down to this Nexus. And uh, Violet right now, he can see the Corona Boost on this Nexus, which says, okay, you're using a lot of your energy on workers. It may not be any type of rush build. Anytime you see the Nexus still being Corona Boosted right when the sub next core is about to finish, that's a good sign that they don't want to put on a lot of aggression, or at least I think it is, because they'd want to get the Warp Gates out as soon as possible. We do have this one probe out coming out from... Puzzle, going to be seeing exactly if he can get into Violet's base, and yes, he does. Going to be going over to this third base, and seeing that base, he may end up putting on the aggression. What is he going to do? Is he going to take a third base of his own, or is he going to put on the aggression? His plus one attack has been started. That is about a quarter of the way done, maybe halfway if you count in Corona Boost, but he's not Corona Boosting anything of his side next core gateway or forge, just going to be going on his next, throwing up two more gases. So we'll see exactly how Puzzle ends up following this up. If he's just going to use those gases to get a buttload of sentries out, which I wouldn't say is as common as like a Stargate follow-up. It's a little bit late to throw down the Stargate, but it is definitely possible after seeing this one hatch. We do know it's a reaction to that early hatch. 
And uh, Violet is getting gas out of just one geyser right now. Actually, two geysers put one as main, one at his natural. Getting Evo Chamber and a Roach one. The Roach one does start around the 640 minute mark. And now the Queen's going to be, of course, vomiting on those hatches. And everything does look very standard. The Queen just waiting for this one hatch to finish. And look, the Queen not even stacking that much energy. Very nice job by Violet there. Good timing on all his Queens, keeping them relatively low in energy. Even the one that transfers over to this third base hatch finishes when it has about 35 energy. And waiting on that, there we go. The Vomit does go down. And in Violet's base, uh, in Puzzle's base, we do have five more gates being built. So he may be going up for some type of aggression as he is going to have six gates with that plus one done, getting that plus two. So this could be some type of stalker to attack timing upgrade. Uh, wow, I just fumbled that. A plus two stalker timing. I have seen quite a bit. We'll see if that's this. He is getting hallucination, which is a little bit odd. Maybe this is just... So Puzzle can get some scouting information. Going to be saying, okay, I'm not going to have my Robo uh, facility right away. So I need to get Hallucination to get some type of scouting because my Observer isn't going to be coming out. And that's a little bit odd. Puzzle, up until last game, I think he's been going with a one-gate Robo build. And now he is starting to stray away with that as he does go for lots of gates. Getting in a lot of Stalkers right now. So it looks like it may be that exact timing attack that I was talking about. They actually see that Overwood. I guess he wasn't positioned in the correct spot. And the Overlord does get taken out. And that Hallucination now just finishing. We'll see if he goes for a Sentry right away. Or if he tries to fake out and build like a Hallucinated Colossus when Lings do come. As those Lings don't have speed just yet. He has started his Roach speed. It looks like he's getting Burrow as well. And does he know about that Hallucination? That is a little bit odd that he just randomly got Burrow this game. I haven't seen him get Burrow relatively frequently, but uh, he is getting it this game. And that will be very good because uh, Violet, I mean Puzzle, has uh, skimped out on getting a Robo Facility. Here it is. And we also have Ventral Sacks being researched. So this is an odd build coming out of Violet, but it is an odd map. And we'll see exactly what Violet has planned with Overlord Drops and Burrow. This could be uh, definitely hard to defend, but thankfully for Puzzle, he is getting his Robo Facility and it looks like that will be just in time to deal with this Ventral Saxis. This does have another 100 seconds as the Robo only has 35 seconds. Observer's 30 seconds. So, actually, the Burrow's done. It's not the drop I'm worried about. It's the Burrow, which is done. So these Urchins have a small timing window where if they can kill the cannon, then they can Burrow and units can't hit them and they can heal up. But Puzzle does have plus two done and is working on plus three right away. So I'm thinking he may be trying to go straight up into Colossus, just rushing all those attack upgrades. If he was, like, mixing them up, I would say he's getting Immortals out as well, but Colossus benefit a lot from having a lot of attack because they hit multiple units. And they sit way in the back and they don't really get hit, so... Immortals also benefit from having that attack upgrade, but I don't think plus three really does anything that plus two does in the sense that, uh, they still take the number of... the same number of shots to kill Roaches, and I think that's the thing. I'm not 100% positive on that fact. But we do have Violet now gearing up to put a little bit of pressure on. He is doing that little Roachling that he has been doing all series long. It's 163 supply to 126, but you can't really take that for a fact. The thing that is cool is seeing Violet's creep spread right now. It's 12 minutes, and he's already at Puzzle's base. Now just checking for any bases around here. Puzzle tried to sneak any fourth base or any hidden tech. Fourth base is much more likely. And getting an Immortal out right now. So we will see the difference on that attack upgrade most likely. Observer just going to see roaches and lings start piling on. I don't know why all the roaches are hiding way over here. Stalkers are going to be showing that they do have blink. And even more stalkers are being made. And there we go. The roach is going to be falling on back. And uh, is he going to be getting... No, he's getting another immortal out. They do 60 damage. And roaches, how much health do they have? 145. So maybe... That three attack does allow them to two-shot Roaches, which is a little bit interesting if the Roaches don't get any armor. Maybe that's possible. We'll see exactly how much. Again, 60 damage per shot. And Roaches are going to be starting to take out this one gateway as it does turn into a Wolf Gate. That Immortal trying to get in the front line. Right now, just attacking Lings, though. Force Spears do go down. One of those gates falls. And Violet showing off that he does have the uh, Burrow and Tunneling Claws. Roaches coming in from this side, but they do get picked off. But that does allow... Violet to come in to attack this third base yet again. 
And this Nexus is in trouble. The Zerch is Earth taking it down. Some good force fields by Puzzle. Looks like he will be able to hold on, but the probe count is going down. Violet is turning that Nexus. He needs to put more force fields to block that from falling. The Robo Bay is uh, about done, but the third Nexus has fallen. That Immortal is at plus three, 65. So now they do, they don't one shot, uh, two shot Roaches still. Even if Roaches don't have any upgrades, still going to be taking them three shots to kill those Roaches. So. And Stalkers, 17. Maybe for Stalkers it does one less shot, but uh, nothing for the Immortals. Plus two does the same as plus one, uh, three. As the Colossus is coming out. The Roach is back at full health. Violet is sitting around 184 supply. Puzzle is at 140. Still has a few centuries, but they shouldn't have that much energy anymore. Looking at that, actually they still, still have quite a bit. One still at max energy. He's just got to worry about the Roaches with their double-pronged attacks, which makes them relatively scared if they get a full surround on your units when Puzzle is starting to run low on energy. He's still got plenty of force fields left. These Roaches now just going to burrow and retreat. I don't know where that Observer is. Where are you, Mr. Observer? Not on a hotkey, not with this army. Okay, there it is, way off in the back. And there's actually Roaches back here that I completely missed. Overlord Drop did come and took out a handful of workers. And here we go, pronged attack, and more Overlords coming in, dropping in the Roaches right now, picking off the Sentry, tugging that down, two Ro uh, Stalkers right here, but they are falling back, the Colossus is out, and the Colossus is getting pinned between Roaches, these Roaches backing on off, so it looks like Violet has given up with this attack, but still has the drop going on back here, some nice blinking from Puzzle, keeping those Stalkers alive, and it looks like he will just barely hold this, but the Roaches still keep coming up forward, just say, hey, you cannot bring more units on over here. And there we go, all the Roaches have been taken out. Violet still just on three bases. And I'm starting to get worried for Violet as Puzzle is starting to weather the storm. And uh, Violet, he's got to start doing something, has to get a fourth base up. Does have the macro hatch, his queen is at 100 energy on that base, 34 on this one, and uh, 64 on this, so not the best injects. Going to be healing up his Roaches yet again. And Probe's coming on back. It doesn't look like that drop actually in this back did much damage at all. We do have the Thermal Lance now just being researched. The Colossus does do, uh, has plus three attack and no armor upgrades for Violet. He has just started plus one Carapace. Ten Corruptors are out because he knows Colossus are coming and needs something to deal with them because his unit doesn't have any range whatsoever. So if he gets force fielded, then, uh, the Colossus will just kill everything if he doesn't have any Corruptors out to deal with those Colossus. Infestation Pit now being built. We do have a fourth base coming out from Violet, so it looks like he's starting to transition. He is at 200 supplies, so going to be getting Spine Callers up just in case Puzzle has any plans on attacking that. Will Delam allow him some time to go up into Broodlords, which I'm assuming that's what Violet wants to do at this stage of the game. It is 18 minutes. He has started his Infestation Pit, and that has finished. Will he get Pathen Glands, or will he just go straight up to a Hive? Actually, he can do both right now. And Patrick Lands and the Hive do start. Will, well, we already see the Spy because Corruptors are out. And it looks like Puzzle is just about hit that anti-roach force where he can just storm right across the map and kill off roaches in huge numbers. Violet's going to need some good um, surrounds on Puzzle's units to be able to hold this off. There we go. Puzzle now maxed out of, for all intents and purposes, 190. Going to be getting this fourth Colossus. And after the Colossus comes out, I assume he's going to be moving out. And this is a very scary time for Violet. This is not something you want to have happened when you have 42 Roaches out. You don't want them to have a lot of Colossus, Sentries with Energy, Immortals. Basically, the anti-Roach force, because right now, it can snowball. If Puzzle just comes, kills off all these Roaches, then uh, gets into Violet's base, he can't really reinforce. He can build a lot of Roaches at once, but uh, it doesn't help him at all if... Uh, puzzles already inside of the army. Well, there we go. Going to be killing off one of his own units so he can get a warp prism. And Puzzle may be waiting a little bit too long. The spine crawler wall is getting even larger right now as we do have six more on the way. Overlord just sitting over here. Don't have any units in them. And I was kind of surprised Violet hasn't started spreading out his units before the battle even begins. He knows it's going to be coming sometime soon. And Stalker's just blinking around and getting that one tower and 
Does he have an Observer with this? He is building one right now, so it looks like after the Observer is done, that's when he will be moving out. But we have the Greatest Fire already started with six Infestors now coming out. He is missing his timing. This army now going to have Infestors, which is good. And the Greatest Fire is going to be near completed. But he's going to need to use all this Corruptors. The two Changelings getting sniped as Puzzle does move across the map. And not taking out any of those creep tumors. He's going to have to deal with all of the spines plus the roaches. Roach is now gearing up to start a good attack on that. Big Fungus go off on a lot of stalkers now. Puzzle has to engage. Those corruptors picking off those classes very quick. You can see the classes just go down in two volleys to all those corruptors. Ten corruptors looks like it's a magic number to take out Colossus in big quantities. There we go. All the classes have been dealt with. And it looks like Violet just holding on 108 lings on the way. And those Corruptors have no more purpose right now. The Greatest Fire is done. He is going to be getting those Brood Lords out. The Spine Call is delaying Puzzle so much. You can see Puzzle Supply just plummeting right there. Those Fallen Growths were so good. The Force Fields not so much. Colossus fell so quickly. That was absolutely ridiculous. I did not see the fight going that way. And now all the Spine Call is going to be repositioning. We do have Violet with this one base that will be taken out. There's nothing he can do about that. And uh, is he actually going to go up? He knows the creep is up there, but no, he is just going to be ignoring that right now. Seven broods are on the way. Doesn't have observer with the army, so he has no idea about that. Good stalker concave. Those links are coming in, and Fungos do go down on a lot of the stalkers. Some pretty good force because There's immortals, though, not target fighting these roaches down. The roaches doing a lot of damage, and the brood lords have joined the battle. The stalker force cannot take out the brood lords. It looks like Violet may be able to kick off all of Puzzle's forces, but it is 140 supply to 122 supply. So Puzzle is still ahead. However, Violet is going to be two bases ahead of Puzzle right now. Has just cleaned up a lot of Stalkers without losing any Broodlords. This one does come down to 5 HP. And here we go. A lot more Stalkers moving across the map. And it looks like he is going to be... Does he have an Observer right here? He has a Pylon. But no vision of the high ground. Where is the Observer? I thought he was going to be coming down. Try to blink up in the main. There we go. The Observer is coming. And this is the only thing that Puzzle can do right now. Is just pretty much play like a Terran player. And never engage the Broodlords. Just go blinking around the map. Abusing everything they can. Warping in some Zealots. And there we go. Stalkers are going to blink up. And now he should be doing something on these bases. Yes, the Stalker is coming. Needs to get like a pylon over here. And start taking out the base. is just going all over the place. There we go. Infestation Pit is going to get sniped. And maybe be able to get the Greatest Fire. That will be absolutely huge if he can sneak in the Greatest Fire as well. Going to be taking out some drones. Not that big of a deal. But uh, needs to get the Greatest Fire sniped. And Violet pulling back right now. Going to be just getting some more Brood Lords in. It's like, okay, that Greatest Fire is going to fall. And just going to be accepting the fact that it's going to fall. And I don't know if I agree with that from Violet, but now he's got more Broodlord, so he is going to come and try to defend this force. No more Greatest Fire. Fungal Growth does go down on those Stalkers. These Stalkers are going to be retreating. They did their damage, killed the Greatest Fire and the Hive. And are they going to get this one? Ash, that's at 7 HP. Yes, they will. Zealots do go out to target that down. And now Puzzle is going to be retreating. There's nothing that Violet can build besides Lings and Roaches right now, which is very good for Puzzle. And... Violet can't even get a Spy right now because he doesn't have a Lair. So right now, Puzzle going to be getting in DTs now to go over to this base. Just start sniping bases left and right. Such good play right now coming out of Puzzle. And all he has to do is weather the storm because Violet is essentially going to be all in right now as these DTs do split up going into this. We don't have any... We have one Overseer and a Spore Caller is being built. Uh... Not the bases he needs. The DT is just going to go to town on all the drones. And this base does get sniped. Big Bower now commencing. All the roaches getting in. And all Puzzle has to do is hold this attack. Going into the army supply it is 66 to 123. It's going to be a hard attack to hold. If he can manage to hold that, he will be victorious. Should get a snipe on that overseer and wolf in some DTs to kill the roaches. But it doesn't look like he's going to be doing that. Just going to be falling back. Allowing Colossus to kill what it can. But killing all the Broodlings not going to be helping that much. Warping in some High Templars. Going to go straight into Archons. Those Archons will be good at fending off Roaches and Broodlings. Will they be able to come out? Puzzle is forced back in a corner. There's a lot of Roaches. These Colossus getting the kills. But they will be falling as they do get Fungal and Roaches getting in range. Not going to chain that Fungal. A lot of Gateways have been powered down. These Broodlings look like they're just targeting down Pylons. Taking out gateways, more gateways, turning into warp gates. Those DTs still doing a lot of damage to Violet's Econ. 
This is all in right here though, but it looks like 20 supply to 114. GG, Violet does take that, and what a close game. If Puzzle just managed to hold on, he would have had the entire series. What a great way to finish off the ace match. And let's see what those roaches did that I missed. I'm not really used to watching for drops in ZVP, but uh, apparently I should. Okay. Doesn't do much at all. Let's just make sure it didn't kill many probes. What was that overlord? Did I go too far back? I think I did. So while all this was going on, two full overlords, eight roaches, going to be doing a drop. And I guess it does good on scouting. Killed a handful of workers. At the same time doing a drop over here. Fourteen workers. And now that's actually what allows him to snipe this one nexus. That was a lot that I missed back there. Very well played by Violet. It would have been much better if Violet, while all this was going on, used these roaches and sniped this one pylon. If that pylon went down in the middle of this fight, that would have been absolutely huge. Because that would be like three quarters of all the reinforcements. So Violet not keeping up with all the drops. Doing two at the same time while attacking. Very well played by Violet. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Take care. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Test? Okay. Thank God my mic was recording. Didn't see the little orange thing on XSplit. That would have been upsetting. But uh, yep, take care.